but first, Wheeling University has emerged in recent years from a state of financial crisis to a solid solvency. Thank you for joining us for 7 News at 6. I'm Stephen Moore. Now, while the institution continues to take steps to correct problems, other problems have now been brought to the attention of 7 News. Reporter D.K. Wright spoke with the university president today about these latest challenges, as well as the victories they're experiencing at the same time. First, President Jenny Favitt emphasized enrollment at Wheeling University is up 30 percent over last year. We have students coming from 21 different countries. Uh, we have uh, almost 20 percent of our population is now international students, as well as we have students from 17 area local high schools. Then she addressed the swirling complaints about problems in the buildings. Sources have sent seven news pictures and emails about broken air conditioning during a heat wave, broken windows, broken or missing dorm room furniture, elevators broken since June, shut off notices for utilities, holes in walls, falling portions of ceilings with possible mildew or mold. Favid said due to hiring challenges, the university had to contract out both maintenance and housekeeping. She said they've been meeting with that contracted company about the problems. Of course I'm not satisfied with the company. I, that's why I've been meeting with them to address the issues. She said she doesn't want to bash them because it could worsen the situation. Well, the contract is a contract, so I really don't have an option of breaking the contract at this point. So the, the, the hope is that they can rectify the situation. She said she wants the 793 students to be happy and comfortable here. I'm a mother. Both my kids went to college as well. You know, it's never a perfect experience, um, but we try every day to do everything possible to give them a good experience, a quality education, uh, and teach our mission at the exact same time. Unfortunately, things go wrong and things break down and things need to be fixed. Um, sometimes it's a perfect storm and they all take place at once, you know, and you pick each issue apart and you address it and you work on it. I think that's the, that's the intent of Wheeling University and its administration. She said other colleges and universities have problems. In fact, several have closed. For 7 News in Wheeling, D.K. Wright, working for you. President Favid said that she believes these complaints are the result of an intentional attack on Wheeling University. She says she wants to focus on the positive things that are happening there.